cry out to the highway police of Baka Bhid, Krishna's devotees. Baka Bhid, Baka Bhid, Krishna's devotees. Police? <laughs> yes. What? This is the translation. O oh mind, anxiously cry out to the highway police of Baka Bhid. Krishna's devotee. I am bound around the neck by the fa- painful ropes of the highwaymen of lust, and so they are killing me, and they will save you from their grip. O oh mind, anxiously cry out to the highway police of Krishna's devotees and say, I am bound around the neck by the painful ropes of the highway men of lust, and so they are killing me, so that they will save you from their grip. When we are surrendered to the Lord's lotus feet, it is necessary to remove all obstacles on the path of sadhana. We cannot advance on the path unless we remove the thorns lying on it. Some of them are external thorns, and some are internal thorns. In the previous verse, the poisonous results of associating with materialists and hearing material topics from them was discussed. These are the external thorns, and now in this verse, we will discuss the internal thorns. Lust anger, greed, delusion, pride, and envy. These six enemies of the spiritual soul are powerful obstacles on the way which pull the devotee's heart and mind into the realm of the sense objects. Shiraguna Das Goswami compares the six enemies with highway men who attacks helpless travelers and rob them of all their possessions. These enemies are publicly stealing the wealth of a practicing devotee's bhajana and then strangle him. When Sri Raghunath says, these highway men bind me around the neck with these terrifying ropes of wicked deeds which are striking me as much as they want, He speaks in his own name out of mercy for the devotees who are struggling with these obstacles and who are in deplorable condition. Asak cheshta means endeavor for temporary accomplishments. When one thinks of sense objects, The enemy named lust gradually appears and forcibly keeps the heart and mind of the devotee bound to endeavors for sense gratification. These material thoughts are compared here to the terrifying ropes of highwaymen. What poisonous fruits grow from the tree of sensual contemplation? Bhagavad Gita, when one contemplates the objects of the senses, such as mm-hmm. when one contemplates the objects of the senses, such as sounds and touches, thinking them to be the cause of happiness, attachment arises. From this attachment comes lust, and when these lusty desires become frustrated, anger swoons up, and from anger, delusion overtakes. 
which steals away one's healthy discrimination of what is to be done and what is not to be done. When one is in illusion, memory is lost. Thus, one forgets that one is supposed to make efforts in doing bhajan. When memory is lost, one's spiritual intelligent intelligence, which causes one to pers- to preserve in spiritual advancement, is destroyed. And when the intelligence is destroyed, everything is lost. Then devotee... Again, again. Mm, when one is in illusion, memory is lost. Thus one forgets that one is supposed to make efforts in doing bhajan. When memory is lost, one's spiritual intelligence, which causes one to preserve in spiritual advancement, is destroyed. And when the intelligence is destroyed, everything is lost. Hmm. Why go back side? There is a fan. So Bhagavad Gita, mm. when one contemplates the objects of the senses, mm. such as sounds and touches, thinking them to be the causes of happiness, attachment arises. From this attachment comes lust. When these lusty desires become frustrated, means you're not finding satisfaction, Mm -hmm. then anger swoons up, and from anger, delusion overtakes, which steals away one's healthy discrimination of what is to be done and what is not to be done. When one is in illusion, then memory is lost. Thus one forgets that he is supposed to make efforts in doing bhajan. When memory is lost, one's spiritual intelligence, which causes one to preserve in spiritual advancement, is destroyed. And when the intelligence is destroyed, everything is lost. The devotee will then have to wander around in the material world, in different species, birth after birth. Mm-hmm. Different pieces. <laughs> he stated the devotee, the devotee in different species. Yeah. My God. We have to be so careful. This you can add with the seventy-four. This is a teaching, real teaching. Externally we can fix, internally this is not difficult to fix. And then this is chapter two, no? Yeah, Gita. yeah, my dear. The end of chapter two, or something like that. Chapter two, sixty-three, sixty-two, sixty-three. Yeah. The devotee will then have to wander around in the material world, in different species, birth after birth. Different life. Yeah. My God. We are reading the other day for devotee is not important where he is, but he needs to have Radharani's lotus feet on his mind. And then he said, you send me any place. And yesterday, Kesha Bhava said very nicely, under my kush, our, our Kaliyuga died without taking grains, body cannot survive. Mm. So for survival, for eating, we have to take the grain, and grain give karma. Yeah. 
and in the Kaliuga time, mind is staying in the yoni. You know, translate. So mind is fixed in the yoni. Yoni means sense and genitals. Male or female genitals. So mind is only fixed for that. Mind is working to how to achieve this. Because of the anna, my mind cannot survive and this gives the karma and karma live in the yoni. Mind fixed in yoni. This is our practice. Very good. This is Kaliyuga. To come out from the yoni consciousness to mind, that has to do. He say the Bangla one is the Annamaya Kosh means mind is only fixed, is with the rice and grains, is all grains. If no it, survival difficult. This is our condition, body condition. And the mind condition to fix in the yoni, in the in senses. Male fix with the female senses, body, that part of body, and female fix in the male part of body. And they want to achieve that. That is only a they have to work in. Very nicely he explained this. And this is going on and on. My mother always uh, warned me about taking grains from mothers, uh, yeah. especially from like around, you know, bakeries. And <laughs> so how you eat a grains, karma is growing that way, yeah. and mind work for the yoni. Yeah, mind cannot think out of yoni. Only when you meditate about when you run is blessed, then you can do No other way. So if you offer the green, does it purify them and make them okay to If it's eat? not green, it's purified. If it's not green? Purified green. We take. Purified green. Then mine will work more for this union. Like a non-veg thing is not purified. Even the subliminal money, green is not purified. Who are with the wrong way. And this money grain we eat, then his mind become like that. Yeah, it's like a transmitter of many things, the grains. Like you eat in the temple. Yeah. And you eat in the restaurant with a different flavor. That, that mind keep one time peaceful and one time unpeaceful for that material thing. That's why you fast on the Padish, you know? Yeah. And there is very sensitive day. A Kadoshi is a very sensitive day. You can use it in right way and wrong way also. So you see it is sensitive. The next is to fast some uh, totally fasting, not than water fasting, not than grain fasting, or if not then take the food of uh, not with the grains, without grain, fruits uh, or out of grains. So that way some purity will come 
for the spiritual level. So this grains, what they cook, is not a grain. Like a tapioca is not a grain. Like a potato is not a grain. Fruits are not a grain. Peanuts are not a coming in grain. Buckwheat. Buckwheat. Very important. I need to balance. I mean, Japan is so very difficult. Anything is not without fish there in Japan. Very difficult to find anything without fish or meat or something, egg. Very difficult. America, you can search, find something. But Japan, through all our ignorance, they want to live in ignorance. But if you go with some devotees, they will read before buying what I am buying. Then they buy. I say, why you are reading? To check. Food is right or not. I don't know for that I mean. Here you don't need to read, you have to go and buy it. But America, everybody read and buy. They don't know what they are eating. Right? Huh? Europe also same. Europe is also, also not, not so easy, but uh, you can find. I mean, what I know, no? In America? America also same like Europe. You can find. You can find. Japan you cannot find. Huh? Huh? Read and find. Read, yes. And in, in Europe, for example, in Germany, when you go to the Hedford store, you find a lot. A lot of things you can read. I am married to also. One thing, and when you same thing, you offer and eat, it's different. How far and eat different effect. Why we do this? To keep the cool mind. Effect of Anna, breath and breath. Who don't have a consciousness that do the mistakes and they suffer with that. Not uh, very good, uh, but they got us in trouble. Yeah. But you are a good devotee. <laughs> <laughs> that is very special. <laughs> you start dreaming with the uh, Radha And he is sleeping in the front of Radha Yes, the last night. What was too hot. The was very wind. It was nice. Yeah. <clears throat> so a helpless traveler can never escape from the grip of these powerful highway men on his own strength. But if there is a powerful policeman or a soldier nearby, he can loudly call out for help so that the policeman can save him. In the same way, the police of Bhakabhit or the devotees of Krishna will come to save the struggling soul from the attack of the six highwaymen called lust, anger, greed, Delusion. Lust, anger, greed, illusion. Pride and envy. In such times of danger, 
One has to call out for the devotees with great pity. Srila Narottam Thakur sings, The highway men of material desires are binding and killing with the ropes of lust. Cry out for Hari's servants, associate with the devotees, and enjoy topics of rasa and prema with them. Then all mishap will be destroyed. A person who wants to be freed from the grip of highwaymen like lust and he wa- and who wants to fill his life with devotion is completely dependent on the association of the Vaishnavas. Srila, uh, in Narottam Pratna that is very nicely mentioned about the lust, greed, how to use this lust and greed. So, Maharaj is telling and that's probably It's only to, uh, if you don't find this thing, only associate with the Vaishnava. They will automatically, by looking, you will know. Your lust has to be offered to Krishna. Your greed has to be too greedy to be an association with the uh, pure Vaishnava. Ambiness also, how to use ambiness, ambi. Ambi is the, who know, respect the Vaishnava, become ambi with them. How to use that it helpful to you. I think it cannot finish. It's very nicely written in the frame of this. That is very nice to gather to uh, Prem Bhakti Chandrika has mentioned. Yeah. Yeah. I think all of them can be used except for envy. I think envy is the envy highest. Envy also very nicely. Six all are so? you can devote to in the service. Read now and then you will see that. Other side of envy is admiring. Huh? Yes. Other side is admiring. You admire to the devotee, so you envy with the person who not admire. This is not the meaning of word envy. You will see, I don't remember that. I will find Only one thing by the association of the real Vaishnava. All will change your mind. It's all will change. Short, shortcut, he said. Very nice. Yeah. Mm. <sighs> this change will come. My lust will change in different type of lust. What is that? Lust? <laughs> Anger. Anger. Angerness will be with the person who is no like with you with Krishna, you will be angry with them, who is not supporting. So that will be useful, your anger. You cannot finish it, but you can use it in right manner. In the Prem Bhakti Chandrika is Go on, I don't remember that. Because you never practice this. <laughs> No. You practice rather than I have to do this. <laughs> yes. So a person who wants to be freed from the grip of highway men like lust and who wants to fill his life with devotion is completely dependent on the association of the Vaishnavas. Lusty desires will come with the Vaishnavas. Yeah. Yeah. In the association of devotees, one's bhajan becomes deep and one conquers over all obstacles to attain the supreme goal, yeah. oh. love of God. Yeah. This is the mercy of Raghunathas. Mm-hmm. 
As a concomitant factor, one also acquires all divine qualities, such as freedom from lust, non-violence, non-envy, good behavior, equanimity, control of the mind and senses, humility and friendliness. They come as a side effect. Marjana hoy bhajana sadhu sangha anukshana agyana avidya parajaya bhajana purifies. Always associate with saints so that your ignorance will be defeated. Sri <laughs> Radha. The purity that emanates from the body of a sadhu will bless even a human being who practices no bhajan with the gift of the great wealth of bhajan. The darkness in their hearts which are contaminated by vile things like lust is suddenly removed by the light of devotion, which is diffused by the grace and the association of these devotees. Is there therefore any doubt that when the example of the sinless lives of the great, pure-hearted saints always remains before the eyes, ordinary human beings can also become enthusiastic to attain the highest goal of life mm. and that by the grace of these saints their insignificant material desires will disappear from their hearts. Yeah. Sounds like a dream but a very close dream. It's nothing dream. Only one saintly person closeness is all the can. But desires not make me to associate with the sensory person. That they fooled us. I'm telling my life when my desire was not to sensory person. I feel that they are holding something. And when automatic sensory person starts to be near to me, I cannot hold it. It has to go out. The nature could not give you chance to meet with the sentry person, something holy. That holy is not desire for meeting with sentry person. Some material desire. Anuksha means every moment of marjana, cleaning, how dirt will stay there. Anuksha marjana. Always clean it. How it will be dirty? It will become dirty, I again clean it. Yeah, it will become dirty, I again clean it. Anuksha Sentry person always clean us. That is nature. And I, my nature to make myself dirty. <laughs> That's the thing. And they clean it. Elephant's nature. Yes. It's nature. Yes, nobody can stop it. Mind is fixed in Kali Yuga with the genitals. Male and Male as a female, mind fits there, and female as a male. I don't know the name, but I say one name. He said, Yoni. Yoni is a Hindi word. Yoni means the, the part of the female part. Female part. Female. Yoni is the female, and male is the, the lingam is the male part.
Mind is fixed there. It cannot move from there. <laughs> because of the Anna, Anna eat. And if you eat more favorable for that, it will be more strong without offering. Offering also it can be not easy to it effect is there. So we reduce the effect of Anna by a and I I saw also when 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 in in Vaidhi Bhakti you cannot come out. Of it. No, no, impossible. When you practice Vaidhi Bhakti, you get it. Any any other bhakti. You have to be in your practice. Only this is the only association of person of the marginal. Marjana hoy bhajana sadhu sangha anu anukshana. Marjana hoy bhajana. Marjana means to clean your bhajana. Where is missing? And how it happens? Sadhu sangha. Means sadhu, not that only bigger man is sadhu. You need sadhu. Is sadhu. Sadhu is sadhu. All are sadhu. How you can do any mistake with those? They will point you out. Oh, Sadhu Maharaj, this is not your work to do. How are you taking for that? Eh? Always they clean us. Right? So by the grace of these saints, their insignificant material desires will disappear from their hearts. In his Prema Bhakti Chandrika, Shilanarutam Das Thakur has written that by associating with great souls, people who are attached to sense gratification will be able to give up their attachment and turn towards God. You see, the attachment will change in God. Ah. Uh, That's something nice that I've seen in Vedas. He says insignificant, right? Yeah. Because he has the highest taste. Yeah. Then you can say insignificant. Yeah. Only if you have the highest taste. Yeah. 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 Then attachment will go. If you not give attachment to alternative, Attachment, it will not go. You stop it, you stop it, not to stop it. How you can stop? You have to see if you show the argument. This is the place to attend. Mm-hmm. Yes. Shirupa Manjari Pada. Say more. We can break that. In his Prema Bhakti Chandrika, Shilanarutam Das Thakur has written that by associating with great souls, people who are attached to sense gratification will be able to give up their attachment and turn towards God. Such devotees they will change to the Radhika. They will change the attachment to Krishna. They will change the attachment with the Mandiri. Yeah. Such devotees are the greatest friends. That is the greatest. Who change the attachment, right? Sri Rakina Bandhu Arati. 
I will read again and again. <laughs> so by the grace of these saints, the their hearts. In his Prema Bhakti Chandrika, Srila Narutam Das Thakur has written that by associating with great souls, people who are attached to sense gratification will be able to give up their attachments and turn towards God. Such devotees are the greatest friends. The practicing devotees can turn the poison of the six enemies into nectar and become immortal by engaging these enemies in Krishna's service. Shilanarotam Dasta Kursing I offer my lust to the service of Krishna, my anger towards those who envy his devotees. This is anger. Angerness I will use who is against to the devotee. I will have to protect. So angerness I will use against to the devotee who is against. He cannot throw it out and nobody only use it in right manner. And my greed towards association with saints and topics of Radha and Krishna. I am deluded without my beloved Lord and I am proud when I sing Radha and Krishna's glories. Thus, I engage all the enemies in Krishna's service. For what? What is the air point? Anger and envy, what is it? Envy is actually not mentioned. Envy is only recognized in other... in. I don't know. Yeah. It's so dirty, this envy. But he's there. Try to understand. He's always there. How you can change this envy? It's a practice. Hmm. If you don't practice, it will never go. You have to watch for to that. To remove it. Nityananda said that he will give prema to anyone, whoever says one time Maha Mantra, only no envy. I offer my lust to the service of Krishna, my anger towards those who envy his devotees. You see, I'm not envy. I will anger to who is envy with the devotee. Yes. I will use anger, and how to use envy, you see that. And my greed towards association with saints. Yeah, that and is to use the greed. Yes. Somebody has no greed to uh, go to Hari Krishna and meeting with Saint Philip. Means there is no greed happen. Why not? These are the, if the enemies are following me. I am deluded without my beloved Lord, and I am proud when I sing Radha and Krishna's glories. Thus I engage all the enemies in Krishna's service. Otherwise, if these desires are used for selfish purposes, they become the abodes of evil. They all six come together, he goes.
What can lust and anger do to a practicing devotee when he is in the company of saints? Raghunadas therefore says, O oh mind, call out to the devotees of Krishna, which are like powerful policemen who will protect you from the hands of these powerful robbers. The wealth of your bhajana will then be, sa- be in safe hands. Yeah, I do bhajan, but this, they come to do our, our bhajan become, what is that? In vain, useless, because they rob us and steal us with this anarchist. O oh mind, listen with reason. Lust, anger, and greed are like powerful high, highway men who are keeping me bound around the neck with their terrible and painful ropes of wicked deeds. They want to destroy me, and they give me intolerable pain, so much so that I fall unconscious at every step. Who is that friend who will save me and loosen this bondage? O mind, cry out with an anxious voice. Where are you, O devotees of Bakari, wearing tulasi beads around the neck, tilaka on the forehead, and Krishna's holy names written all over your bodies? Where are you, O Vaishnavas? Destroy these six enemies and save my save save me by roaring out loud the name of Krishna. Otherwise my life will leave me and I will forget Radha and Krishna. Where are you, O host of devotees? That is the teaching number five. He says, of the finest animal <laughs> who lives inside us. The subtle. Subtle. And that creates that false ego. False ego is just some enemies are staying with me. So that way false ego existence is not good. This is also very good teaching. Always we have to be and practice very good We will practice and we forget. We practice and we forget. We have to always margin them. And they want to create their area when human waiter then the, there was no place for Asura, which all place for centimeters. Mm. That uh, the asuras come to Krishna. He say, "You also create. You century person, you give place, but there is no place in in any human being. You, give. you have to say." He said, "No, I no make for human for you, because you will create problem to them." He said, "I'm Satan." O Muslim way. In Hindu they say Sura, Asuras, and in Muslim they say Satan. We say, O oh God, you have to give some place to me. You creator, you are the creator. Then he said, Okay, I create, I have to give you also place, respectful place. But I cannot give. He took one pen. And he pointed. He said, only this point, I will give you the place. 
grains. Uh, one point. One point. Yeah. But he say, God say that okay, Krishna say that okay, if nobody will remember me, you can create your place with yeah. And they are so fighter and destructive. The small place they will get and they want to create their bigger place. And when we not remember to the Krishna and God, then it, their place is bigger. Then don't demoniac behavior start in our life. We are externally, we are dressed centrally, but inside demoniac nature grows. It's Asuras. Understand? Yeah. Because we give the chance to grow that. And then she must come. Huh? And then she must come. She, she will come when she, 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 she will she. come when she will remember her. Huh? You will stay there. But she how can come when we not? Uh, we think not to them. Not think for Radhika, then you give the Asura's place, right? We not listen, we not margin ourselves, clean ourselves, it become dirty. You see, see clean every day my glass, then no dirty. Radhika is always why a golden, and she is a blue. Radhe, Radhe, Radhe.